Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing my rosette tutorial and they're the rosette lollipops that you guys have seen me create for my banner. And this one I actually didn't use, so I'm showing you how it looks. And this is how the back looks. You can see the glue kind of. If you want to cover it, you most definitely can with another a die cut heart. Um, double sided paper will look cute too, but most likely no one will see the back. Unless you use it for like some Valentine's Day um, giveaways. So that's what we're going to be making today. A couple supplies that you'll be needing is a scoreboard or some kind of tool to be able to score your um, paper because you will be making a bunch of score lines. If you have a larger scoring tool, that'll work. Even a paper trimmer, all you're going to have to do is slide your piece of paper on your paper trimmer every quarter of an inch. So I'm going to be using the Martha Stewart scoring tool and you're going to need some pattern papers, which I already have. I'm going to show you two different sizes. You can alter these sizes as well. I'm going to be using just some different sheets. This one measures one and a half by eight and a half inches. So again, one and a half by eight and a half inches. And then I'm also going to show you another size, but this, those ones I have already scored and these ones measure one and a half inches by 12 inches. This one is one inch by 12 inch. And this one is, um, one inch by eight and a half inches. So you'll see why I have a bunch of different sizes. Um, and then you're going to need some die cuts if you want to decorate them. Um, here, I think I showed you guys that I hold just some heart die cuts that I made with my silhouette. So I cut them in, put them in here. I also use my punch to punch out some hearts. You can do that as well. Um, you can use a bunch of die cuts, anything that you'd like. The main thing that you are going to need, I have a couple more die cuts here that I want to use, um, are the straws. And I just pulled out some from my stash and put it inside of this basket. Um, so as you can see, I still have a bunch in this packaging. Go ahead and get some things pulled aside. And I think I am just going to stick with these. So let's see if it'll match my papers. Oops. I think I'll go with the red and the blue. Okay. So, hopefully you guys can see here. First thing I'm going to do is cut these in half. You can keep them at its length. It's really up to you if you want them to be short or if you want them to be these long. Straws, they normally measure about 8 inches, so I'm just going to cut it in half at 4. So here it is, there's two four inch pieces and one eight inch piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and set those aside. So you wanna go ahead and grab your pattern paper. The size that I'm gonna be showing you here measures one and a half by eight and a half inches. Then you're gonna go ahead and take your tool and you're gonna measure every quarter of an inch. So it's gonna be quarter, half an inch, three quarters, one inch. For those of you that have a six and a half inch one, I just flip it and then you can even start, you don't have to start from the right side from your last score line, you can just continue on with a quarter of an inch on this end here. Because it's going to end up leaving a quarter of an inch gap once you reach that point. So you guys can see the score lines here, and you can see I kind of pushed too hard here, it ripped it, but it's okay. Okay, so that's that. The next thing that you're going to do with this piece is you're going to accordion fold it. So for those of you that don't know how to accordion fold, it's a fold that goes front and back. So as you guys can see here. I'm going to go towards me, away from me, towards me, away from me. And that's for every score mark you make. And if you're using a paper trimmer um, and you don't have a bone folder to do it, 
you can use a popsicle stick I've tried it if you guys do nails and you have a nail tool which are those little ballpoint tools you can use that um, so anything that's close to a popsicle stick you can most definitely use that and then if you don't have a um, trimmer or you don't have a scoring tool you can still do this um, all you have to do is just take your piece of paper make sure you measure it um, at the right length and then you want to um, use a ruler and a pencil and mark every quarter of an inch and then just fold every um, line there um, this is going to be the half rosette one and then we're also going to make a full rosette so that's the reason why I have two different sizes um, so here is the accordion fold one. Before I even do anything to this, I'm going to show you a different way. So this one here, you can see there's one rosette. I want to make a liner for the inside. So that's where this one inch piece comes from. Again, you can do different sizes. This can even be a three quarter inch piece. It's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and do again this accordion fold. Okay. <laughs> So here it goes. So as you can see, it's a little bit smaller just because it is one inch, but that's how it looks, okay? The next thing that you want to do is you can either use a punched out circle or a heart. As you guys can saw so what you want to do is you want to flip it so that way the pattern is showing. If it's double sided, then it's okay. I'm going to take my hot glue gun that's leaking like crazy, and I'm going to put a big clump of hot glue there and you want to take your rosette and you're going to squish it sorry squish it and then kind of make it into a rainbow shape make sure that you hold it like this so that way it keeps its shape and you're going to plop it right onto that hot glue and I suggest you hold the center down for a little bit okay so as you can see here it has now glued. I'm going to take a little bit more glue just to keep this secure and make sure that that goes there. Okay. And don't mind if it looks messy in the center. You're just going to cover it up with some embellishments and stuff. So that's how that looks. And before we put something in the center, I'm going to keep my example here in the corner. You want to take this one and you're going to line it up. Okay, so let's see. So you're going to take this and you're going to line it up. And you're going to push each little end inside. So what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze it until... You get it where you want it. And what I'm going to do is, because I didn't do this, oops, it's like really blurry. Um, so, as you guys can see, it's, see the little border there? I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue this flap onto this one. Make sure you don't burn yourself with the hot glue gun, especially to have the one that is high temp. Because <laughs> it didn't even touch me, but the smoke did and it burned. Okay, so I mean it worked out perfectly fine. So it's just a little bit harder, I think, once it's already curled in there. So um, yes, again, put this top layer first before you even shape it into this piece, which I will show you with the next rosette. So the next thing that you want to do... Okay, so if you don't want this to show in the back, you can take your straw and put it in the middle here. I am going to go ahead and do that for you guys. And I think, yeah, I think I'm going to use a small one. Go ahead and push it in there. And what you're going to want to do is put some glue in the center.
and you can see it's a little bit flat there. I'm going to push that in. So for this one, I think I'm going to use, I have a couple of these circles punched out. So, um, I really like the star one. So I'm going to use the star and I'm going to put a whole lot of hot glue and I suggest putting it on here, so that way you can make sure you don't miss out on the center. And I'm going to center that on there. So it looks like that. And how cute is it with that border around it? So the next thing that you can do is just embellish with some stickers. As you can see, I used um, a heart one here. And I'm going to go ahead and probably just pull from here. sticker and just like that you have your own little lollipop embellishment okay so that's how they look super cute so I'm gonna go ahead and also show you guys a full rosette the only difference is the size the length of the paper this is a full 12 inch size and um, but the height is still the same. So it's still one and a half and one inch. I'm gonna go ahead and off camera accordion fold these two pieces and show you um, All right. how it lays. So as you can see here, I have the rosette. What I did was I attached the one inch piece to the one and a half. How I did that was I met up all of the creases together and then I just used my hot glue gun to connect this top flap to this bottom one here so that way they stick together so as you can see here I glued this down to there so with the full um, rosette you want to go ahead and use um, a larger heart or you can use a circle so I'm gonna just use this heart and I'm gonna set it down here. And again, this is a larger heart than the first one that we used. The heart that we used the last time was this cute little one here. Okay, so this one measures about two inches square. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a big glob of hot glue, like what we did last time. This time you're gonna curve this all the way around, and it's a little bit difficult, but Wait, I skipped a step. <laughs> you want to adhere this one to the middle. Oh my goodness, on the other side. So, I'm taking some hot glue. Again, be careful, don't burn yourself. And I'm going to attach these two ends together. And just hold that into place. And this is still nice and hot. Um, so. Okay, so you're going to want to hold your shape into place. You're going to lift this up and plop it right down into the hot glue. Just going to wait a little bit. So while I hold that to let it dry, I'm going to take another heart. And I'm going to put that in the center. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a paper straw. I'm going to flatten out the edge as if someone was biting onto the straw. And I'm going to put that onto the back here. So 
So I'm going to put a lot of hot glue on here. And I kind of flattened it about half an inch down. I'm going to put some hot glue there. And I'm going to place this down into the center. So it looks like that. And then again, just decorate it. I'm just going to use a black enamel dot in the center. And it looks just like this. Obviously, when you glue it a lot better, it will be shut right here. But this is how the larger one looks. These large ones are so cute, especially if you make a centerpiece with them. And these are the cute little mini ones right here. So again, you can use a larger piece. This measures one inch and this is one and a half. I would use a one and a quarter inch piece to make a thinner border. But I really like how this one turned out. It's super cute and I like the bright blue color underneath it. So that is the rosette tutorial. I hope these um, two tutorials for the tassels and the rosettes helped you guys out a lot. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, again, if you guys make rosettes and you post it on Instagram, hashtag me and I will go ahead and put um, the hashtag down in the description bar as well as my Instagram and tag me in it so that way I could see all the creations you guys create with the tutorials that I put up on YouTube. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching. Talk to you guys later.